They fired him and general manager Bob Quinn over the weekend. Jim Caldwell, his predecessor, Dan, 36 and 28, three winning seasons, two playoff appearances. Matt Patricia, 13 and 29 and one, zero playoff appearances. What does the organization do next? Now, now the organization has a lot of work to do. That's an accurate statement right now because in three years, what was trending to becoming a consistent winner has been torn down. Uh, what do they do next? I'd say this, Z, the first, and I think the next real move is making their decision on Matthew Stafford. And uh, Matthew's a friend of mine, and I don't say these words lightly. I think it's time to move on from Matthew Stafford. I think that's justifiable on both parties because – the Lions are not just, hey, let's hire a coach and see if we can fix this away. Because Matthews is going into, I believe, which is going to be his 13th season, maybe his 14th season. It did not work in Detroit. And so they've got to make the decision to move on from Matthew Stafford, trade him, and build for the future. Because it is now a rebuild. Because everybody that's on that football team player-wise, player-wise is very much custom fit for what Matt Patricia wanted to do. So I think that's the next real decision that the Lions organization needs to make. The second thing is this. Don't fall in love with just, as an, exes, just an exes and O's guy. I know everybody wants Sean McVay. He's a unicorn. You better go find a leader, someone that has foresight, someone that understands that city, someone un that understands the, the frustration of that city, and someone that can organize and galvanize and distribute, distribute responsibility. And the head coach has got to bring somebody that's got great X's and O's. Offensively, we are in an era of football that you need to be outstanding at it. So hire somebody that has foresight at that position. They've got to bring an offensive-minded or, or a great offensive-minded offensive coordinator with them. Obviously, a good defensive coordinator, but it needs to be a rebuild mode, and that's where the Lions are. Indeed. A dozen seasons in the league next year will be year 13 somewhere, whether it's Detroit or elsewhere. Dan, really appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks, guys. First stuff, Dio. All right, Dan. Key, I, just for one minute, I got to wow. get your opinion on Stafford. Also, big story percolating in Detroit. Rumors are rumors. Hey, there is a uh, college coach in Ann Arbor that's proven himself to be a really good coach in the NFL. You can connect the dots there if you want. A lot of people in Detroit are talking about that. That may be fantasy. Uh, but would you move on from Stafford? I probably would um, because he has some value for somebody out there in – you know, we don't need to be trying to get a top five pick and all that unnecessary nonsense, but get some value for him, depending on what the salary cap hit is, um, and then move on and rebuild the whole entire situation. Because much like Dan said, what has happened is Matt Patricia and Bob Quinn made a decision to build a team a certain way. And, and now the new head coach and the new front office have to come in and see what players could fit the system that they will employ now. And, and and if Matt's part of it, then great. And if not, then we can move on from it. If it's the end, like how would you how would you sum it up? Just big arm, ton of yards, not a lot of winning. He, well, look, here's what I would say just for Matthew Stafford, it's good that Dan says that because they should basically give him a pardon gift and say, you will move you to a, someone who could potentially use you and be a contender. Well, Somebody like a Chicago Bears in the future, once they sort out their general manager, head coach, quarterback situation. Um, San Francisco, once they figure out what they want to do at the quarterback spot, start to look to see what value you can get from Matthew Stafford because this is probably a rebuild situation. I don't know their roster from head to toe. I mean, you know, from the front to the back. I can certainly – see that there's a couple pieces that's in play, but not enough to be competitive in this league. And it's geared toward what Bob Quinn and Matt Patricia wanted to do, the general manager and the head coach, in terms of building things. They tore it down and tried to rebuild it from Caldwell, and you see what has gotten them. So to do Matt a favor, you, you, you look to move him to a contender-type team. I'd like to recite a line by our great producer, Evan Wilner. Go for he it. He says, move him to Chicago. Bring him to Chicago, let him be a bear, and also hire Jim Harbaugh. And there you go, you're a championship contender. I yeah, mean, but I, I don't know if hiring the Jim Harbaugh really, I mean, in Detroit, is it just that simple to take it from Michigan to Detroit? Because that's the same fan base, right? Maybe like, so. I mean, but maybe so if you know he's a better professional coach. I mean, you. Oh, Jim Harbaugh in Chicago. In Chicago. Not in, sorry, I'm thinking in you're Chicago. talking about Detroit. Detroit. Not in Detroit, in, in Chicago. Chicago. In Chicago. Yeah, why not? 
I mean, that seems deep, like a winning formula right there. They got a right defense there. in place, much like the defense was already in place when Singletary was the head coach and then Harbaugh took over for Mike. That defense was somewhat in mm -hmm. place there. Um, yeah, I, I like that. Props I like that. To, props to you, Chicago. Evan. Props to you, Evan. But Respect. The, but then you're gonna, then you're going with the Harbaugh to Michigan alum, Harbaugh to Bears alum. <laughs> I right, don't know if I want to point. repeat that. Because uh, to, to Key's point, Harbaugh was the Bears quarterback. Yeah, How did you want to repeat right. that. <laughs> Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus right now.